Not able to fall asleep despite being tired at the end of the day is a very common complaint of adrenal fatigue. This is Dr. Lam, founder of drlam.com, and today we're going to talk about this phenomena in detail. Well, let's think it through what you do during the day. A normal person wake up during the day, they prepare themselves, they go to the normal daily chores, and your energy level will tend to deplete usually by mid-morning a little bit, but your body actually rebound on its own so you don't feel it. And sometimes people take a morning snack to help out. In the afternoon, an afternoon slump can be experienced between 2 and 3 o'clock. And that's why an afternoon snack, like a little a tea, the English people do it quite successfully, can help to rebalance the blood sugar and give the body a little rest instead of dipping into the nutritional reserve. By the time the end of the day comes along, most people tend to be tired and they go home, prepare dinner and rest. And that's about the time that the body starts to wind down and then you prepare for your rest at the evening time after dinner. Now, most people with adrenal fatigue tend to be tired, not necessarily all the day, but many of them throughout the day. In addition, they do feel tired even when they go home and by the time 9, 10 o'clock comes along, they are ready for sleep. Unfortunately, a large majority of these people don't fall asleep. Even they are tired. Their physiologically has been on the go for such a long time, sometimes 12, 14 hours during the day already. They lay down in bed and cannot fall asleep. This phenomenon is what we call sleep onset insomnia, or SOI. The basis for this can be rooted in several physiological factors. If your body is in a state of alert, as this is what happens and usually happens in adrenal fatigue, then the body will not let you go to sleep. Well, let's see what actually happens. When your body is in adrenal fatigue, the body's adrenal system is weak and it tries to slow down to conserve energy. In that process, if this is not attended to and no rest is given to the body throughout the day, then the body automatically activates the alarm response or the fight or flight response. And this is going through the sympathetic nervous system the neurotransmitter responsible is norepinephrine as well as epinephrine to a certain degree. Epinephrine is also called adrenaline and epinephrine is the chemical daughter biologically of norepinephrine. Now, norepinephrine is secreted in the brain and it's one of the top cascade neurotransmitters. And when you have a fight or flight response, that's activated when the body's in adrenal fatigue, then the norepinephrine is released from the brain. Now, the norepinephrine in the brain starts part of it, the uh, HPA axis or the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis of hormone balancing. But in particular, the norepinephrine itself circulates within the brain and causes an alert response. Many street drugs, in fact, uses this phenomena and that's uh, the whole class of amphetamines and even drugs uh, called Adderall uh, using this concept. So when this neurotransmitter flood your system in the brain, you're not going to be able to fall asleep because the body does not want you to fall asleep. So despite that you're really tired, you lay there, you can be laid there for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one, one hour, and sometimes the heart may be pounding a little bit, and no matter how hard you try, the body will not go to sleep until sooner or later, hopefully in, more people, in most people, you get so tired that even the body will overrule the norepinephrine and then eventually you will fall asleep. But this process can take a long time, and in severe cases, you can be awake for hours. So understanding that the concept of SOI or sleep onset insomnia is a symptom of underlying root problem is very important because you don't want to just take sleeping aids or sleeping medications because that may mask the underlying problem. So common, very common 
sleep onset insomnia, being tired but unable to fall asleep is a critical, important sign and symptoms of adrenal fatigue. Uh, for more information on this topic, go to my website. I have written an article called uh, Sleep and Adrenal Fatigue. There's another one called Biological Rhythm and Adrenal Fatigue. And both are very useful for you to understand what I'm talking about here and give you additional insights and details on how to deal with this problem. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drlam.com where I have written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571-1234 for more information on adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.